Hey guys, Lacey and Steve from Duo Reacts. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching Lost, which I am completely lost. Season 4, Episode 4, Egg Town. Egg Town. Egg what? Town. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Anyway, I don't want to talk about the last episode. I'm still processing, um, and I don't mean to sound that as... He enjoyed the episode. He was just very confused with the happenings the happenings of what was happening in the future and why it was happening and i think we all kind of explain that that's normal it's totally normal for you to be super confused and not know what's going on mm -hmm. so with that being said season four episode four egg town mm -hmm. Before we get into the reaction, I do want to take just a few moments to talk about somebody that we are recent, have recently decided to collaborate with, which is Loot Crate. So basically what Loot Crate is, is a monthly subscription service, like handcrafted, curated monthly subscription boxes with exclusive collectibles, uh, apparel, gear, all kinds of stuff for a bunch of different stuff. It's awesome. And I am personally very excited to collaborate with them because I'm addicted to monthly subscription boxes. Yeah, you are. So we do have a few things to open up and show you guys from Loot Crate. And the first one, of course, is going to be very closely related to something that we're a, Big little, fans of. a little close to home, which is the Marvel Gear and Goods. Let's open it up and see so what this, we got. This is the first time this box has been opened. I, we yes. haven't seen. So the first thing in the Marvel Loot Crate box is a t-shirt. Uh, Ring of Wakanda. Ooh, it's a Black Panther shirt. Is it? Yeah. Well, let's hold it up. Or King. Why did I say ring? <laughs> King of Wakanda. <laughs> That's a nice shirt. That is a nice shirt. I really like that. I like the black. I like the colors on it. Yeah, this will fit. All right, and then the next thing that we have is a Doctor Strange Eye of Agamotto pin. Well, that's cool. It has a little clamp on the back. So, yeah, it's a pin. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I that's like cool. That. I like that. The next thing that's in here, ooh, that looks Iron Man related. It's a wallet. This is an Iron Man wallet, a little red wallet. On the inside, it has Tony Stark's signature and Stark Industries. That's cool. JT might like that. Makai, Makai has four of these. <laughs> and the last thing in the box is a Spider-Man standee, a, a little figurine in his black costume. That's cool. I want to see what it looks like. Of course you do. There it is. Little figurine. That's pretty cool. I like that. We can set that up. Yeah, I like that. So though, that is just um, an example of one subscription box for the Marvel uh, monthly subscription box of what you would get in that one. So that is super awesome. And we are collaborating with them. So if you use the discount code DUO15, you can get any subscription, uh, any subscription box that Duo you choose. DUO15. Yeah, DUO15. <laughs> If you use that discount code, you will get 15% off. And there are a bunch of different loot crates to choose from. There are, of course, Marvel, Deadpool, WWE, Anime, Rick and Morty, Hello Kitty. There's even loot crates for gaming, uh, like Destiny and Fallout. WWE, which a lot of... Yes. A lot of, yeah. And these are just some examples, but they also have loot crate for her. So if you're a female and you, you know, want some cool t-shirts, um, I'm getting that one. So I'll show you guys that one mm -hmm. when I get it. I will let you guys see what I got in it so that you can determine if you want that one. Yeah, and these are just a few examples. If you go to their website, they have tons of stuff to choose from. Um, and if you can get 15% off, you know, and show your support for us if, you know, obviously. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I, I love it. So if you're a fan of, of a certain, uh, they have different categories and whatnot, that's what's pretty cool about it. So you can kind of iron down what you like or whatnot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. Um, another thing that we wanted cool. to show you is that Loot Crate often does, like, specials where they kind of focus in on one thing. 
um, and we'll give you like in their loot crates, we'll send super exclusive collectibles. Like for instance, right now they're doing a promo on Guardians of the Galaxy. And basically they, in the first box, they send the first four figurines of the Guardians of the Galaxy collection. So these ones are like, uh, the first one is Star-Lord, as you can see here, and they all connect up and make one big thing. Oh, really? Yes. Okay, yes. okay. So it's really cool, but the first one is Star-Lord. Oh, so it's collect and build on it. Yeah. Okay, okay. And you get all four of these in your first box. There it is. There's Star-Lord. The second one is Rocket. Nice. I like, I really like this Rocket one. Look at his face. <laughs> 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 That's great. I love that. The third one is Gamora. Oh, okay. Uh, Gamora has some pieces with hers. But there's Gamora. But she'd fit in right about Or Steve here. will take her out. <laughs> So I see what they're going for here. Ah, that's the pl middle platform, I see. Yeah, yeah. And here's her knife. Sorry, guys. I'm having a lot of fun playing with this right now. This is the best puzzle ever. And then the last one is Groot. That Gamora is, look at that. I love the detail on oh, that. Oh, yeah. I don't Here, know if you look. can see that. Yeah, see how they all connect together? So you, in the first box, you will get all four of these. Looks and almost evil there. And if you also want to order this, you can get 15% off if you use code GOG Duo 15. We will put those. Oh, good morning, don't we you. will put both of those codes down in the description below and on the screen. That is so cool. that you guys can use those. That is a neat collectible. I, it's it's I, a really neat collectible. If I had it on a flat, it needs to be on a flat so surface. So I can snap it together. But yeah, it's really cool. I really love it. That's cool. Good job. Good job, Luke. Great. I love it. Yeah. Thank you so much, Loot Crate, for collabing with us, and we appreciate you guys so much. Please, you guys, check out Loot Crate. Use our uh, discount code to show your support for us as well, because we will get a small percentage for everybody that chooses to use that code. But yeah, I, I really love Loot Crate, and I think they're really awesome. Yeah, and, and you know... They're really good. I mean, the people that did uh, we talked to, uh, very personable. So um, any issues, let us know. But yeah, I'm I'm very happy with it. Yes, and I love the shirt. The shirt in itself was I like that. I oh like yeah, the, Marvel. the Black Panther uh, shirt. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I, I loved that. Can't wait to see yours. And yeah, I, and I'll definitely keep you guys posted and show show off what comes in the in the loot crate for her. Mm -hmm. You can get any of these and many more through through the date August nineteenth. So those discount codes are valid through August nineteenth. So make sure to use them now. Let's do it. Egg town. Eggs and cantaloupe. It's a lot of work having a prison on. Huh? <laughs> Breakfast? We know this is bad. Last two eggs. He even cut up some cantaloupe for him. From my own bookshelf. Help you pass the time. I've already read it. You might catch something you missed the second time around. He's always so bruised. Why did you move me from the rec room down here? I want to be under my own roof. Where are you keeping your other prisoner? Miles, is it? Oh, you don't want to share. Actually, I was hoping you would share, Ben. Seeing as you claim to have a spy on his ship. I feel for you, John. I really do. You keep hitting dead ends. You're so desperate to figure out what to do next. You're even asking me for help. And you're more lost than you ever were. You're more lost you're than you ever were, Steve. It's not going to work. Excellent, John. You're evolving. Done with your breakfast. You don't get to eat today. John's going to go eat your eggs. <laughs> He wasted that them eggs and that cantaloupe. What's that all about? Who knows? Let's lock. Morning, lady. Good morning. Morning. Mm, coffee smells good. Why don't I go make you a cup? <laughs> hint, hint. <laughs> kind of weird, ain't it? Sitting on porches, drinking coffee out of mugs. You might have found some clothes about your size. So if I try to kick out you, though. I'm not moving with you, James. Then why did you stay? That's none of your business. 
<laughs> He's trying to get her moving with him. I'm not uh -huh. spying for anyone. So why don't you tell me? Because him? I don't trust you. This is about the pregnancy. James, go home. What about the coffee? No coffee for you Sawyer. Ready? You ready? Is there a back entrance? Yeah, but you're going in the front door with your head held high. Okay. Okay. They, they don't care. They just want pictures. People versus Catherine Ann Austin. He was charged with fraud, arson, assault on a federal officer, assault with a deadly weapon, grand larceny, grand theft auto, and murder in the first degree. That's that's a lot of charges. How do you plead? Not guilty. Well, now your argument on bail. Your Honor, we are requesting that the defendant be remanded into custody for the duration. Based on your prior history, I'm inclined to agree with the people. Your Honor, bail it. Please take the defendant into custody. <laughs> You're going to jail, it looks like. I mean, she's the one that wanted to go home, apparently. We know quite a bit more about uh, that. Too hot. Too hot in yeah. Albuquerque. Told you, that's all. I learn English. To live in America. Charlotte, Dan, they can make arrangements to get all this stuff to sign. Okay. You got blood. I just killed a chicken. What can I do for you? I want to talk to Miles. Where are you keeping him? Well, you sure, he killed him? a chicken. That's personal. No. And what gives you the right to decide whether or not? You may think this is a democracy, Kate, because of the way Jack ran things, but this is not a democracy. Uh, huh. And I guess that makes it a dictatorship. If I was a dictator, I would just shoot you and go about my day. Oh. Dinner's at six if you're hungry. Okay, John. Okay. Hey, Hurley. Bring that to Miles? Yeah. Walk us in. Cool. That dude keeps me out. <laughs> you still in the rec room, right? No, I moved to the boat house, but... Damn it. He just told you Scooby Doo and you did Sorry. Let's not tell off this man. <laughs> oh, that's the creepiest boathouse I've ever seen. Yeah, that has vibes that's to it. That's a very creepy boathouse. The Arab traded you too, huh? Do you know who I am? Excuse me? Do you know who I am? Do you know what I did? What did you do? <laughs> Answer the question. What did you do? I'll tell you what you want to know. You gotta do something for me first. One minute of someone's time. You bring him to me, and I will tell you everything I know about you. Who? Who do you think? Who do you think? The DA's decided to try this case herself, and we need to start talking about cutting a deal. She'll take a 15 year sentence, and you serve seven. No way. Uh, if you go to trial, Kate, you're looking at 20 years on each count. Not seven mention, years for everything you've count. done Kate, sounds kind of like... Kate, you your mother, and now she's their star witness. And I see we've got one shot at this. Make it about character. Not about what you did or didn't do, but about who you are. What do you mean, who I am? I want him in the courtroom. Absolutely not. But in generating from that decision... Duncan, listen to me. You are not using my son. Maybe we should try a number other than the boat, like 911. <laughs> sure he's got Ben in his basement. I saw a Rousseau type him in there last night. Oh, can you get Aaron for me? Yeah, I'm just not very good with babies. Here, I got him. Okay, oh, now wait a minute. He's so good with them. Last thing I ever thought I'd be good at is being a mom. You know, you should try it sometime. Please rise. Don't fire me, okay? What? Does the defense have a witness? Uh -oh. The defense calls Dr. Jack Shepard. You're to be aware that this witness did not meet the defendant until after the alleged crime she's being charged with. Character witness only. You swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God. Yes. Could you please tell the ladies and gentlemen of the jury how you met the defendant? On September 22nd, 2004, Kate, Miss Austin, and I were both passengers on Oceanic Flight 815. Were you aware that Miss Austin was a fugitive? I did learn that eventually, yes. 
from the U.S. Marshal. No, the Marshal died in the crash. I never spoke to him. Ms. Austin told me. Did you ever ask her if she was guilty? No. Never. I just assumed that there had been some kind of mistake. Then why would you think that? Only eight of us survived the crash. We landed in the water. I was hurt pretty badly. If it weren't for her, I would have never made it to the shore. She gave us first aid, found food, made shelter. She tried to save the other two, but they didn't. Stop. Miss Austin, please sit down. This has nothing to do with anything. It's character work. This is my trial, and I don't want him to say anything else. It's fine. I have no more questions. Though. That was very loving, Dr. Shepard. Was it? Oh. I only have one question for you. Do you love the defendant? Objection. Objection. You open this door, Mr. Forrester. I'm going to allow it. Do you love Miss Austin? No. Why? Straight up. Not wrong. anymore. Yep, that's a lie. He's Jeez. telling himself no, that he doesn't love her anymore, anymore right? <laughs> Hurley, Hurley and Sawyer are roommates. Oh, oh God. That's a weird pairing. Hey. Come in. Sure. sure. <laughs> you know my roommate? Hey, Kate. Got some in yeah, you go. No, it's in a box, but... Pretty damn good wine. You want some wine? <laughs> Baby Aaron keeping you up all night? No, I'm always a good sleeper. Good for you. You are terrible at this one. Terrible at what? You already said you didn't stay behind for me. At least be woman enough to tell me you want to use me for something. I want to use you for something. See? Wasn't that hard? <laughs> He's like, I know, uh, I know you too well. For Ben, I want you to help me bust him out. Yeah. You think I know what I'm doing? Oh yeah. You worried about what we should do next? All I know is I'd be a lot more worried if I was sitting on that beach. And the rest of the group, what are they saying? I think they're saying bah. Nice thing about sheep. Really? I ain't so sure about the cape. I need your word. You ain't gonna do nothing to her. Why would I do anything? Just give me your word, John. You know what? Forget. It. No, no, no. Wait. You have my word. She came to me about that. Said she wanted my help busting Ben out of your basement. She talked to that guy, Bruce Lee from the freighter, the guy you got locked up. He told her to bring Ben down to him for a chance. Well, that's impossible. She doesn't even know where Miles is. The boathouse down by the dock? <laughs> if Hugo knows, everybody knows. Whoa, 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 where are you going with that? Whatever Miles has to say to Ben, he can say to me. Okay. Except Sawyer, there's no way he ratted on Kate, right? He's gone. Yep. Yep, this is Sawyer. He's kind of... <laughs> she ain't playing no games here. And... Ben's like, oh, one minute. How about some privacy? 55 seconds. You know who I am? Yes. You know who I work for? Yes. You know he's put a lot of time and energy into finding you. So now I found you. And I can tell you exactly where you are. Or I can lie. And tell him you're already dead for three point two million dollars. Okay. <laughs> extortion. So you could blackmail me? It's extortion if you want to get paid. Three Thank you. Two. Why not three point three or three point four? Or three point five. He apparently needs it for something in particular, if it's that. What makes specific. you think I have access to that kind of money? Do not treat me like I'm one of them. Like I don't know who you are. Your friend Charlotte has seen me. She knows I'm alive. I'll take care of Charlotte. You have two days. My present situation is a little bit restricted. One week in cash. Don't even think about it. I said time's up. This is hot. You got me. Now I want my answer. Your name is Catherine Ann Austin. But you're wanted for murder, fraud, arson. You got caught in Australia and the feds will bring you back. So yeah, we know. If I were you, I'd stay right here on the island. I feel like you maybe you didn't survive the crash. Who knows maybe what? He said, who knows maybe you didn't survive the crash. He's gonna get shot. Go back to your house, Kate. John, this has nothing to do with you. Go back to your house, Kate! I'm gonna make a prediction. Yeah, Stop. Let's take a look at you. Okay. You know how in the courtroom or said that she had a son, right? Mm hmm. Kate. Yeah, she said you're not bringing my son in here. Yeah. What? I think there's a reason these two are roommates. Okay. And I don't have a good feeling. So. You're alluding to the fact that something's going to happen to Claire? Yep. Okay. And the baby is... So you think that Kate's son 
that she is referring to in the courtroom I mean, I, is Aaron. I, I'm just making a, just a off the wall okay. guess here. All right. That she's gonna something's gonna happen to Claire and she's gonna assume the role of be a mom. I I hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm very wrong because I really love her, and I think that I could. I just think I could be wrong. I just need to stop and say that I've been thinking about it ever since that court okay proceeding. But could be, could be not. But all right, let's go. All right, John. I, I don't need to know why you did what you did. I just need to know what they said to each other. Miles told Ben that he would lie to the people he works for on the boat, tell them that Ben was dead for three point two million dollars. Listen, John, I'm sorry. You're not welcome here anymore. I want you gone by morning. And you're, you just have to listen to him. I'd be Maybe like, I'm fuck wrong. you, this is my house now. You gonna make me leave? <laughs> uh oh. Mom? I'm working out so you two can have a few minutes of privacy. I don't need any privacy. You need to talk to her, Kate. Why? Outside. Hello, Catherine. Was it true? What it said? Dr. Shepard. I'm sure you're here. Why would you talk to me? Because, Mom, the last time I tried to talk to you when you got sick, you screamed for help and called the police, Lou. I don't want to fight with you, Dad. Why are you here? It all changed when I thought you were dead. I don't know how long I'm going to lie. I'm here to tell you that I don't want to testify against you. Then don't. I want to see my grandson. You came here to make a deal? Just want to be here. She got some animosity. We're finished. We're finished. Oh, hey, Freckles. Or unless this is baby making okay. time. He wants me gone by tomorrow. What, he banished you? Well, I am banishing him. Well, we don't have to listen to him. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> well, and it could be wrong. It was just to throw at the dartboard, Lacey. Time. What do you remember? Uh, Queen of Diamonds. Then six clubs. The red pen of hearts. Two out three. Progress. Three cards, Charlotte. Is that progress? Hey, calling your boat all day. Why isn't anyone answering? We're here. How should we know? If they're not answering, then they're telling me there is only one line on that boat. There is another number that we're supposed to use in emergencies. Use it? It's an emergency. What's the emergency? I think they're worried they're about speaker. Saeed and Desmond. Because they have been gone for over a day now, I think. Yeah. Gina, Charlotte. Why are you calling your husband? When Cassie was not answering. People on the island want to talk to their friends, make sure they're all right. What? Friends? They left last night. Frank took them off the helicopter. <laughs> Apparently, it's been 24 hours and they haven't made it to the freighter. On low fuel. Morning. Yeah. I don't know what you think you're doing. <laughs> Open your mouth. Wide. Oh, okay. Oh. Bite down, bite down. Oh. I made the mistake of failing to introduce myself. My name is John Locke, and I'm responsible for the well-being of this island. And you're going to tell me why you're so interested in Ben. In the meantime, you're going to keep your mouth shut. Enjoy your breakfast. Damn. Ruthless. The well-being of this island. Yeah. What? What did I say? All right. You still think you might be pregnant. I'm oh, not worried. I'm not pregnant. <laughs> yes. Woo! Would it have been the worst thing in the world? Yes, yes, it would have been the worst thing in the world. I mean, what would we have done with a baby? I'm going back to the beach. What, you're leaving? Because of this? That's that? Crawl up in my bed one second, the next you're... Goodbye, James. Don't make this about me, Kate. You didn't want a baby any more than I... You're just looking for some excuse to split, and now you got one. You're just gonna sit right here in my comfy bed. Because in about a week, you'll find some reason to get pissed at Jack and bounce right back to me. <laughs> Damn. Harsh words. But very true, though. 
She does look for excuses mm -hmm. to run. Always has. Yeah. Miss Dunbrook. Unfortunately, Your Honor, our chief witness, Diane Jensen, the mother of the defendant, is unable to testify because of medical reasons. The court is now in recess. We have to talk. My key witness spoke to her daughter yesterday, and now she's got cold feet. What are you offering? Four years in. No. Nope. No jail time. Kate Austin is a worldwide hero who saved five other people's lives after a plane crash. But after all that, you put this woman on trial for rescuing her mother from an abusive husband. If you think that jury is going to give her actual time, then you must have a hell of a closing, Melissa. Time served plus 10 years probation and agreement that she does not leave the state. She can go on. I'll her. take it. No, wait, Kate. Give me hey. something to sign and I'll sign it. And then I walk out the back door. I just, I just want this to be over. I can do that. Ten years probation, and you stay for life. I have a child. I'm not going anywhere. Is this her, like, trying to not run anymore? That's what it feels hey. like. Oh. Jack. How did you know I'd be? Your lawyer gave me the heads up. Thank you. The same way you do. You're welcome. You know, Jack, I've heard you say that story so many times. I'm starting to think you believe it. I just wanted to tell you that what I said in there, I didn't mean it. Which part? You know which part. You want to phone me? Come by for a visit. Mm -hmm. I actually have to get over to the hospital. Maybe you and I could grab some coffee mm -hmm. or something. Mm -hmm. I know why you don't want to see the baby, Jack. But until you do, there's no you and me going for coffee. Mm -hmm. If at any time you change your mind, mm -hmm. come and see us. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> We see the baby. I just put him down for a nap. Hi, Mommy. Hi, Eric. Ah, ah. You were right. What? <laughs> Do you see why I had to like? I had to have no expression when you were saying that because I'm like, how in the fuck is he getting this right right now? What? <laughs> I'm like, yes! You were right. It's Aaron. That's a... Now more questions. Now more questions. Oh! Uh, <laughs> uh, yes. I'm sorry I yelled. I'm sorry I yelled, but... You were so, ex you were so excited to be right about one something. One thing. Just you were like, one yes, thing. I was right. I just had a feeling... But then they were trying to, like, push you to think that she was pregnant. But then, yeah, yeah. It's Aaron. Thank you, God, for giving me one. <laughs> He's got one. Yeah, but if Aaron's there, does that mean that Claire wasn't the final person? Because there should only be one person left right now, right? Now that we know five. If they're counting Aaron as, which I would assume they would, he's still a person so I would assume so there's five so I guess it's all about who that sixth person is do you think that sixth person is Claire and if it was then why wouldn't she have Aaron and if it's not then why didn't why isn't she with Aaron there's a lot of questions yeah. where's Claire can I just have victory for okay a all right I'll give you your victory <laughs> what'd you think of the episode though it was good it was a good episode, yeah. A good episode. I agree. We John Locke is intense to say the least. Yeah. He's kind of taking over the barracks or the houses area. Pretty much alluded that. Yep, that he's gonna run things. He's running yeah. things from that side. And it really doesn't matter who he has to climb over. But at this point yeah. he's he's dead set on his goal, whatever that is, he's yeah. I feel like Sawyer, I think I'm going to be sad at some point. Okay. Because I think Sawyer is just a good enough person that whatever position Kate is in right now, to get her to where she is now, okay, would give his so life. So you feel like he might sacrifice himself yes. to get her to safety? I think so. Or to get her off the island? She's the one per. I mean, I think you would do it for just about anyone there, honestly. More so for her, though. But would definitely for the baby and yeah and for I, yeah, I could be wrong. I, I could however see this that. goes, I could however see this that. goes, I, I and I, I we don't we don't know how the Oceanic Six 
come to be off the island. Yeah. If it has anything to do with the freighter or the helicopter or any of that, we just know this happens at some point in the future. The weird thing is, is when Jack was up on the stand, you know, and telling the story that everyone else died and there's just a, you know, that's a very very story. Big lie. He said that they were on, that eight of them survived and then two of them died, right? When they were stranded on the raft or whatever. But why, I mean, the, the, the problem I have with that is, I don't know. I have to think on this one for a minute. Where'd the story come from yes. and why the story? Why? Yeah, I think that's another question. Because there's so many people. Um, because there's so many people that didn't come. Maybe they had to say cover their asses. So we have maybe? Saeed, Jack, Kate, Hugo. Uh, and Aaron. And we don't know if... Could Aaron be one of the... I guess. I would assume so, but we don't know for sure. So we either have one or two people left. We don't know. I would assume one, but I don't know. I honestly can't remember. I don't know. I'm going to take it as it comes, okay, because they are giving us piece by piece. Yeah. Um, You know, I feel like, I feel like John Locke is definitely not part of that. Okay. For sure. Because he is the island. Do you think that he would willingly leave that island? (laughs) No. No. So nope, nope. we don't think it's John. You said you don't think it's Sawyer. Originally, I, you were thinking that it was Sawyer. Yeah, I and don't. And now you're more so leaning towards he stays and either sacrifices himself I think, to get her. I think. I think. Okay. Um, I mean, Jen and... Jen and son? She's pregnant. I think could. Anyway, I'll go ahead and go with them, too. Jen and son? Yeah. Okay. Uh, be, be, no, I really like their story. In fact, in a lot of this that we went through and lost, I've really enjoyed the, you know, the the, the arc and the the trials the and tribulations. The arc of the, Sun and Jen. The, it, very interesting story yes, in itself. I agree. I think that their story is one of my favorites, and also Kate Desmond's story is also one of my favorites. Um, just you know their their oh. backgrounds and how they. And, and how they're changing, too, means a lot. And even we see Kate changing, too. Mm-hmm. I mean, in the future, she's obviously really trying to stay put and not run anymore. She's trying to correct her character all she, flaws, all I All she guess. wanted to do was this all to go away so she could be home with... Aaron, apparently. Yeah. yeah. She, so what? Give me she probation. Did, Give me probation she's forever. She's like, I, I'll stay here. I won't do anything wrong. Mm-hmm. Like, she's got it. Like, and I believe her at this point. Like, no, she's uh, full on mom now, it seems. Yeah, and I, I we feel don't know that. why. I, and I don't know why I even went there with Aaron. I think it's because when we were watching the show, you were seeing her and you were seeing her talking to Claire and Aaron yep. about the baby. And, like, I think with them being roommates, you were kind of just thinking, what if? What if it happens no, to be... Well, the first thing that came to mind was when they mentioned uh, the baby, which was a shock to my system. Right. Um, and then it went off to Kate and her talking and Aaron. And, they're, you know, she's doing the laundry and, you know... It kind of transitioned You could see the glow with that. Kate yeah. in that conversation at moments when they were talking. You know, you should try it. Or, what you know, I mean, just the little things. And I was like... That's it. You know, it has to be. But then again, I thought, well, well she could, just climbed into bed with Sawyer. So. It could have easily gone either way. But this way, it's like totally unexpected and totally like, why? What happened? Like, mm-hmm. what? Yeah. So that's the questions. But overall, I really enjoyed this episode. Yes. You know, and I have to say, I, you know, Kate, I, I enjoy her. Um, I enjoy Kate episodes. I enjoy, because I, you know, like, I don't know I, I de- why. I, I don't definitely, know why. I definitely enjoy Kate episodes because she's an interesting character. Yes. But I do get a little frustrated with her at times. I don't. I'm not saying I don't like Go her. Ahead. I'm just saying I get a little frustrated with her at times because, because she lo- always looks for an excuse to run. And because she doesn't just, she's like, she's really bad at communication. She leads Sawyer on. She loves Jack, but yet she's, you know, like, there's a lot of things she does that I don't necessarily agree with. You know what I mean? 
But um, but I do like her character, and I think she's growing, and I like the progress she's making. So I think with her past and everything about her and everything that I've seen, yeah, I can it's I can deal with Kate being misunderstood and yeah. and running from from problems. She kind of has reason to always feel like she needs to run. And so that's why I'm a little easier on her, too, because I relate to some things that she's been through in her past. So Mm -hmm. I can see why. You know, I used to be the same way. Any sort of problem arises, and it's easier to run away from it. If I don't have to deal with it, it's easier. And I feel like that's the mentality. And and there's a certain point in life where that's not efficient or doable. It's not the best course anymore to just run. Yeah. Right, right. But... Excellent episode. Yeah. I really did enjoy Egg Town, season four, episode four. Loved it. I'm ready to move on to season four, episode five, The yep. Constant. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode with us. Thank you. Please leave a like on this video. Leave your comments and questions down below. Make sure you subscribe if you're not already. Share the video and squish that bell. And we hope you guys all have an amazing and awesome day. Hope amazing happens to you. Until next time and lost. Peace out.